This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the focus cell. And these are three positive plates. And if we turn this around, you'll see three negative plates. The reason for this video is there's some real interesting things going on with that focus that deserves attention. I'm going to go over a few things about the cell. There's 11 plates. Alternately, there's a positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, etc. So every alternate plate has a neutral plate in between it, which gives a set of 11. Three that are positive and plate here on each side is the plate that connects to the top or the electrode. And if you follow that through, you'll see there's a, a screw that goes through it. The screws down the center are nylon. My cell here, I have stainless steel nuts on them, but the cells that go out of here are not stainless steel, but they're actually nylon, which makes more sense. Here's the reason for this video. As I said, each plate is separated by one-eighth of an inch, or if I didn't say it, they are. So there, there's a one-eighth inch between each plate. I have two washers that are separating them, and they're each one-sixteenth, which gives us the one-eighth. So here's the question that begs the answer, right? Each plate is spaced an eighth of an inch, but there's a neutral plate between each plate. So now if you figure the space between the plates, okay, it's more than an eighth. The question is, what's going on in the neutral plates? A lot of people have emailed me asking me how to keep the amperage down, and this is how I'm doing it. What I'm going to do is show you that this system works, but first I'm going to show you how this plate configuration works. If I seem a little slow right now, it's because I'm pretty tired. I've been working on a lot of these energy projects. And it does get through to you. This is the separation. These are stainless steel that connects all the positive and negative plates together. So this one side is either positive and the other side is negative, etc. So again, the question is, if you separate, so we've got a, let's say this is our positive plate. Then we have a neutral plate. Then we have a negative plate. There's a half, there's an eighth of an inch between the positive and neutral. Another eighth of an inch between this neutral and the next plate. So you can see it's more than an eighth of an inch separation. So this, in effect, is proving that they're actually, this other plate, the neutral plate, is actually acting as some sort of conductor. Why? I don't know. How? I don't know. But we're going to put it in here and I'm going to show you that it does. Turn it off for a second here. Okay, remember starting from the left side, every 
the left is is a positive or a negative. Actually, I should tell you that it is a positive plate. The left plate, farthest to the left, is positive. Farthest to the right is negative. Every alternate plate is neutral. And so what we're going to do is connect that up right now and take a real good close look and see what's happening. And I started it and turned it off. So let's try that again. So the there. There's a good view of it. I keep I'm starting it and turning it off. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. Get a little closer. Okay, let's start it again. There. So the plate on the far left is positive. The plate on the far right is negative. So the second plate is neutral. Third plate is negative. That's negative. The one that you see the most on The one to the left of that is neutral. And the one to the right of that is neutral. The, the next one over is negative again. So you can see what's interesting is the surge is coming from the bottom. See that? Do you see that surge? It's uneven. That's not a can that's Okay, I'm going to, I'm making two tapes videos of this because it is really strange. This is hydrogen tap. This is the second video. What I'm doing is showing you the plate the positive plate is on the far left because positive negative positive neutral negative. And what we're doing is looking at the surge And you see how it's built up. That's the second and third. Let's take a farther look at that. You see that? The question is, what are we looking at? Interesting, huh? If you want to write me, you can write me at hydrogentap.com. That's John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. This is the focus cell you're looking at. And I'm slowly tapping the battery. I'll show you what it looks like when we let it go.
turn it off for a minute. 